The artist of this work is unknown, but it is a picture on the side of the Brown University Library and shows men standing on ice caps taking pictures. The men seem to be in regular warmer clothing. I think this is fairly representative of the media just talking while the Arctic melts before them, and they just stand there without offering any kind of help. Brown University is a very liberal college, so I would not be surprised if this was them taking a stance on the wrongdoings by the masses in society's inability to be proactive rather than reactive. I think art in public places isn't always very obvious, but messages can appear in front of you at the exact times that you need them. This picture taken at the restaurant Postino's shows how art can be hidden in every day. The creator of this work is unknown. I like the simplicity of this work because the message is very powerful. This collection of colorful paintings is created by Mike Rich as an ode to Portland, Maine. Each picture depicts colorful views of different areas from around the city. Unlike his usual graffiti art, this was created in more concise and symmetrical form. Each painting is unique to each style of the area of the city. Rich pulls his inf inspiration from his travels and many jobs he's worked. He loves to see others' art and use his love for nature during the summer to inspire the movement and simplicity in each picture. Sam White's creation, The Octopus Song, sits right outside the Dean Hotel in the Boombox Karaoke Lounge in Providence, Rhode Island. Sam White is a street artist that pictured an octopus singing. Why an octopus? A symbol of a fighter or protector, the octopus comes to life on the wall resembling a piece of digital art. This piece is unique due to its use of medium, bricks, and paint, depicted as a lion that is roaring and striding forward. The artist is unknown, but was recreated by a Rhode Island School of Design student on the side of the university's wall. Originally created in the Babylonian age, the lion is a sacred symbol of Istar, a Babylonian goddess of love and war. This represents the dramatic connection in love and war and the struggle for balance between the two. Umberto Sorenza is the artist of these works. He's an artistic director and co-founder of AS220, a nonprofit center for the arts in Providence. It was established in 1985 to help provide local, unjuried, and uncensored home for the arts. I think his art shows the faces or representations of the people that he has met or experienced. In his bio, he talks about being a very traveled man, and these works represent people from all different backgrounds. His use of color and ability to tell a story using the faces of these people is incredible. His work sits all over the world, from Italy to Newport. Created by Nichos, a popular urban graffiti artist in the Providence area, this painting was created as an ode to Rhode Island's Ocean State title. The painting is intended to bring a pop of color and a sense of calmness as you view it. Nichos gains inspiration from his childhood and likes to incorporate a cartoonesque style into each piece he creates. Corporation of Brown University has accepted a gift from an anonymous donor of a life-size stainless steel sculpture by the American artist Tom Friedman, modern, modeled after Henry Matisse's painting, La Dance. This playful display sits on the campus. I assume that the students have moved their own personal clothing items and placed them on the sculpture to bring to life a rather abstract person. The artist of this creation is unknown. Found on the streets of Providence, this unique pole sits in front of North Restaurant, and each tile that covers the pole has a different pattern, creating a collage of fun, vibrant colors that makes this truly individualized. The artist behind this portrait is the same one depicted in the gallery above, Umberto. His work tends to have a Latin and Italian influence, where he utilizes bright colors and fun patterns in his portraits. This photo is a portrait of a random man who he brought to life using complementary colors and shading techniques. This picture was painted by Claren Alley as a way to capture nature in the urban areas. The goal of this painting is to also create a sense of connection between the city's buildings and the state's love for nature. The rooster depicted with the rising sun represents a new beginning to each day. Claren likes to pull his inspiration from cultural events and fellow artists of his.